Welcome to the Support Center. My name is Tom. We're going to look at the Manage Membership Tool. Now, the Manage Membership Tool is something that you will use to take care of your families on your site. And you can use this tool for many, many things. I'm just going to give a brief overview of some of the key features, the key things that you may use this tool for. So I am logged into my admin site. There's three different ways to get there. On my admin homepage, I can click on Manage. I can also, over here on the left, I can go to members it takes me to the same spot or i can go to users families and manage there we are very same page so on the manage membership tool you'll see some search features if i have a big list i can search for families i see how many families i have how many children some statistics up here i can filter my searching criteria i can download directory i can print the directory i can show a map of my families uh, park and unpark, I'll talk about that in a minute, Or I'm, and I can do a force profile edit. That's all done within this tool. So here I am on the tool. If I want to look at an individual family, I can click on the family's name. It opens up their profile information. I can do things in here like maybe George can't log in. I can change username and password and provide that to him so he can log back in if he's having problems. That's something you may do here. Um, clean up some things for him. Maybe his children's email address is wrong. He has access to this from the family site and you do as well from your admin site. So you're basically seeing his profile from an administrator point of view. That's what you would do on this page. Another thing you can do here, we talked a little bit about parking and unparking. So a parked family, this is something you may use during like a renewal process. Maybe you told your families need to renew their membership by ABC date and they didn't, uh, but you still don't want to delete those families. You may want to keep their data for some reason, or maybe there's a chance they may renew their membership. So in that case, if George is one of those families, I would park him. And so when George goes to log in, he's going to receive a message that says, hey, you're currently parked. You don't have full access to your site, except George can still go as to a statement of account and pay his bill. And he can also view his family profile. But because he's parked, he stops receiving email from the site. So he's still a member on your directory, on your admin site directory, not on your family site directory, but he pretty much is blocked from accessing the site. So that's kind of what the parking does. It's kind of a holding for a family that may want to renew or family that you don't want to delete yet. Now to delete this family, you can see there's no delete icon over here. I first must park and then if I refresh, I'll see the delete item. So now I can delete George the ones that are not parked can't be deleted, so it's kind of an extra step. You first must park before you can delete the family. If I wanted to park all, I could do this, park all. Okay, parks them all at one time. I can unpark all, kind of a quick way to do it, basically from simple clicks. If you have a big directory and you wanna park everybody, you can do that. Uh, force profile edit. So here's a kind of a handy feature. Again, you might want to do something like this during your renewal period. So if I were to enable this feature, what it does is when your families log in for the first time after you've enabled this, they'll see a little alert that says, hey, your administrators asked you to update your profile. Please proceed. It takes them right to their profile and then they need to make changes. They can make those changes. Uh, the key here is that even if they don't make changes, they have to save those changes. Once they save their profile, if they log out, log back in, they won't receive that alert again. So until they save their profile, they will be forced to edit their profiles, what that feature does. If I were to enable it, I'll see a warning here before I turn it on. I won't do that. Again, just a brief overview. So there's kind of the basic things here on the top of this page. Um, some other things we can look at here really quickly. If I click on edit info, it's basically a spreadsheet of that family data, kind of a bigger way to look at it. Okay, I can close that down. I can uh, add extra fields to my, my members data. I can extra add extra child fields where I would work on my membership card. I can import my members. Maybe you're a new group and you want to import your members. I can do that from here. Work on my registration process. I can set up family sections. And I'll provide further uh, videos on some of these more detailed things. But basically the tool that you'll use quite often is right here. Just the manage membership page. And this is where you find all the other uh, membership related tools. Another thing you can do here is actually say if you don't want a family to register themselves, I can click on this plus family button and I can register that family as an admin. 
that's how you would do it right from that same page. So again, to get to the Manage Membership tool, I log into my admin site, and I can click over here on Members. That's usually how I do it. And then I can filter and search for my family using the tool here. If I can spell George right, there we go. All right. I spelled George wrong. Huh. That's why I can't find it. So if George did that, I can fix it for George. Scroll down, update it, and there it's fixed. Okay. So there are things like that is something that you might do on this page. Maybe you saw a typo in a family or something wasn't right. Okay. You can dive in here and do that. So that's the basics of the Manage Families or Manage Membership tool and how you find it on your site. If you need further assistance and need to know how to do some of the more detailed things, you can come over to your admin site and click on the Create a Ticket button.